All right, this is the tutorial on the 2006 Forward Saab 95 Open SID. In order to access Open SID, you hold down the play button and then press source one time. And as you can see, the display will start reading out different data. Now by using the up and down buttons, you can scroll through the different data. If you hold the set button one time, it will put an asterisk next to the top data and hold that in the same place so you can scroll along and monitor two like data at the same time. Just press the clear button and it will return it back to its normal operating. Now if you press the play and source button, hold the play button down, press source one time. It will now allow you to monitor six data pieces at the same time. As you can see, I've got number of errors, misfires, and knocks one through four on the cylinders, which you do have to program into the SID function in T7 suite to get the knocks one, two, three, four. You can see those by pressing and holding the up or down button. Also, once you're in this mode, if you press and hold the set button, you will see that they remain on the screen. And by pressing the up and down button, you can actually scroll through all your data points and have what you want on the screen. Now, in order to set it up like I did, so I can see all four knocks at the same time, you actually have to put them into the SID function in T7 suite in the right place so they all coincide. Also, to get out of this, just press clear. And then again, play and source will return you to normal readouts. The next function we'll look at is if you press the clear button, it scrolls you every 10 items. This screen is where if you had a lambda sensor hooked up and connected to pin 16 on the ECU, you would get a lambda readout here as well. Now another important thing is you can go into SID functions and put in a code for ECM stat underscore enable something of that nature and get this econ mode and the way the econ mode works is if you press and hold the set button it defaults to off which is zero hold the set button until the zero starts blinking scroll up one time and it'll change to one press the set button you now have the econ mode available so if you press the sport mode button on the shifter I believe you have to be into a gear here. Let's go into neutral with the e-brake on. So we'll press the sport button and you'll see that it's, the screen goes into the engine mode. Now by, once you do that, you have to press the sport button mode again to get out of sport mode. Then by pressing the up and down buttons, you can go to economy, normal, or sport. And sport just multiplies your pedal map like it would regularly. Now people have said that they can't get out of this mode once they're in it by doing the normal hold play and press source. If you do that, it goes back into engine mode. But the trick to get out of this is to hold down, once you're in that mode, if you hold down the source or play button while it returns, then it will return you to your next SID function. Here we can see we have the six data points so I'll do the play source again, and I'll hold down source. And as you can see, it will return me back to my normal readout. Play source, hold down source, and then it'll get back into your regular SID functions. Now, to turn this off, just scroll down till you get to the econ again, hold the set button, until it starts blinking, change it back to zero, and hit set. 
and then when you hit the sport mode button all it does is acts as normal now the one odd thing I did find out about this and could be an issue is when you do have the sport mode I'm sorry the econ mode enabled and if you press the cruise control set button I'm gonna get into the normal mode here like let's say your mom or somebody was borrowing the car now if you have the econ mode turned on and the cruise control is not on if you press the cruise set button it kills the car and resets the ECU taking you back to uh, a forced adapt and a second adapt and the biopower mode and everything so that's one thing to be careful about is if anybody if you do have the, if you have somebody borrow your car I would recommend turning the econ mode off because if they hit that cruise set button without the cruise control on uh, you're looking for trouble but other than just resetting the ECU uh, it really doesn't hurt anything and I will show you that now that we go back into the SID mode it puts you originally where you started and we'll go look and show you that at that econ setting is now back to zero and of course if you press the cruise set button now it has no effect uh, that's it for now hope this answers a lot of questions for a lot of you guys out there with the 06 and newer 95s with the open SID take care